Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Happiest Season, the sophomore film directed by Clea Duval, uh, which will be available to stream on Hulu as of November 25th, 2020. Um, Duval's a uh, notable actress who's been uh, a, a large number of things. Uh, her first film was 2016's The Intervention, which premiered at Sundance. Uh, this film is kind of a, a reworking of the Christmas comedy from the perspective of uh, queer characters, uh, which I think will eventually granted a sort of legacy that I wish the quality of which made it more deserving. That said, it, it does have a lot of things I like, has an excellent cast. Um, it, if only some of the writing and characterizations had been a little tighter, and perhaps if it had had more of a, a, a veneer of uh, slapstick, uh, levity. Uh, I think that could have helped this a bit as well, too. Um, it stars Kristen Stewart and Mackenzie Davis as girlfriends, Abby and Harper. Uh, they are looking at Christmas lights uh, one day. It was filmed in Pittsburgh, by the way, and uh, we learn that Abby's going to be alone for Christmas. Her parents are dead, uh, and after, in the throes of romance, Harper says, come home with me for Christmas. Abby's under the impression that Harper told her parents, um, Victor Garber and Mary Steenburgen, Ted and Tipper, that uh, about their relationship a year prior. But on the drive to her parents' house, uh, they pull over and Harper reveals that not only do they not know about Abby, beyond that she's her roommate, uh, they don't know that she's gay. Uh, and apparently there was an incident in high school with her ex-girlfriend Riley, played by Aubrey Plaza, uh, where she ruined that girl's reputation by not admitting her uh, sexual orientation then either. So then we get that this classic uh, kind of slapstick scenario where Kristen Stewart is not only having to pretend she's not the girlfriend, but that also she's straight uh, and back in the closet, and she literally ends up in a closet uh, trying to go to her bedroom in one sequence as well. Uh, Steenburgen and Garber are fine. I, it's, they are playing characters. We've seen Steenburgen, you know, in a number of Will Ferrell movies like Elf or uh, Step Brothers, where I, I think the silliness of the scenario didn't really require uh, the importance of uh, clear-cut characterization, but she's not finely drawn enough to be prickly and oblivious. Uh, the other sisters, uh, Alison Brie plays Sloane, uh, and then there's Jane, played by Mary Holland, who also co-wrote co it. So you have Harper, Sloan, and Jane. Um, and Jane is kind of the, the family black sheep that nobody takes serious because she's kind of zany and might have an attention deficit disorder or, or something like that. Um, so all this culminates where uh, over the course of five days, uh, Abby and Harper are more and more estranged with uh, Abby's friend back home, Dan Levy, who's watching her dogs, uh, trying to uh, provide emotional support, which culminates at a white elephant party where um, uh, Abby is thrice denied, if you will. Um, of course, all's well that ends well. It, it feels like the, uh, the template for this was something like Jodie Foster's Home for the Holidays with Holly Hunter and Robert Downey Jr., which uh, had a lot of meaning for me seeing it as a child uh, with the gay character in this in that, and I think that this will have a lot of meaning for uh, people uh, seeing this now. Although, again, I don't know that it deserves, you know, the, the, kind of like The Family Stone is a go-to uh, queer Christmas holiday film in many ways, and, and I think this film will, will take up that space. I just want it to be that much more sharper. Um, Kristen Stewart, I thought, was did a fine job in, in a character that uh, is way too accommodating and uh, she, she brings a gravity to it though that I find that her mournful angstiness worked kind of well with it. Dan Levy is utilized at, as well as he can be. He's doing what he usually does say in Schitt's Creek but um, he's a lot of fun. Uh, it was great seeing Kristen Stewart and Aubrey Plaza sharing a lot of scenes together even if they do kind of um, waste Aubrey Plaza. Uh, and her talents. And it's nice to see a couple of uh, RuPaul's Drag Race alums like Jinx Monsoon and Ben De La Creme uh, thrown in the mix there. Um, but for a Christmas film, it really doesn't have any quality Christmas music in there, with, which I thought was 
interesting. Uh, overall, I would give Happiest Season two and a half out of five stars. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.